Welcome to Transfer Gamer. We've gone petrol head crazy. No diesel for us for this episode. So strap yourself in, put your drink in the cup holder, and your pedal to the metal. The trouble with racing games is balancing the reality of driving with making it a fun game. Some get so detailed you almost expect it to come with a Haynes manual for each of the cars so that you can fix them. Then there was the problem Motorstorm had, where it made the tracks so realistic as you drove through the jungles you struggled to see where you should go and spent rather too much time performing your own particular brand of deforestation. Agent Orange has nothing on us. Fuel though looks to have the balance about right in terms of tracks. You could see where you should go and also what you can and can't drive on. We can only expect that we will have to have an in-depth knowledge of spare parts though when it comes to tweaking the cars. When I play a game, I don't want to be expected to know the difference in performance between one type of manifold and another. I want the one that makes my car go so fast my eyeballs are pushed back into my skull and they take a week to surface. When it comes to car games, Need for Speed is the old man who has had more facelifts than someone, well, we don't mention for fear of a lawsuit. After last year's undercover debacle, it's shifted gear mainly towards a studio that hopefully knows what it's doing. Now the main shift is away from street racing to the track, hence the new name perhaps. Let's hope they haven't put a spanner in the works and seized the engine of this one. From what we've seen, it doesn't look very much different from Grid, which is obviously something worth copying, but we doubt it will be as good. One thing has got to be certain though, it's surely better than undercover. Will this pit stop get them out of the front of the grid, or leave them leaking oil in the garage? If the franchise is to survive, it needs to be. Coming up the rear and looming large in your mirrors is split second. Scheduled for 2010, there's not much to go on as details are thinner than the supermodel that's been run over by a steamroller. Suffice to say, it looks as good as a supercar with a boot full of used non-sequential notes, and we can only hope that the trailer was made using the game engine. The explosive tracks and the ability to take out your opponents do make us think of Mario Kart to an extent, just a little more grown up perhaps. The idea is that, even if you're in last place, you can trigger a series of explosions and take out your unwitting opponents. What fun! It looks slick and is certainly a blast of petrol fueled fun that we're looking forward to. Having said that, the grid of car games is getting packed, so it will need to be special to get pole position. Focus. 
Ready camera two. Take camera two. Ready 18. Cut to 18. Cut to eight. Driver 48 is triggering bridge collapse. by driver one. Driver 95 is activating the girders. Well, that's it for all our car fuel fun for today. We'll see you again soon. Cheerio.